So when I think back about why I decided to become a scientist, it's, it's actually odd. Most people will say, I had this amazing science teacher in sixth grade. I had this amazing science teacher in high school. And so for me, it's a little bit different. Um, when I was going through high school, it felt pretty easy to me. I did well in the classes. And it, it got to a point where I expected to do well. I expected to get 100% on this or this or that. And one day, I got a science test back, and I got one wrong. And the question was, I'll remember it to this day, because Jane and Mike have nine children. They're all boys. Jane is pregnant again. And what are the chances that she's going to have a boy versus a girl? And I, of course, put down something 10%. And of course, the answer was 50-50, because every event is independent. And I got it wrong, and I was furious. I was so angry. And then I realized I found something really challenging. And that was, it was literally that test and that experience that told me, not only am I going to be a scientist, I'm going to be a geneticist. And I'm going to answer these kinds of questions. And this is what I'm going to do with my life. And I did. So when, when I decided to become a scientist, it's a big of a um, complicated question with uh, an answer that is bringing me back to my uh, family origins. And I think there is a, um, a, a mix of two, two things. One, which is a true fascination for, for many things. I was, I've always been very curious and also I've been curious about uh, uh, the, the universe, uh, stars, uh, planets, uh, galaxies, etc. And, uh, and I was born at the year of Sputnik and uh, so everything which had to do with space exploration had my uh, a great interest, and uh, I still remember that I was taken aback when I saw the first image of the Earth taken from the moon, uh, and that uh, uh, the amazement never left me uh, somehow. Um, the other reason is that I was born in a, uh, a family of artists, of musicians, and that's what I normally should have done, but then I reacted strongly uh, for all sorts of reasons and decided to do what I was the least, I think, uh, uh, good at, and that is physics. And, uh, and then it was a series of uh, good encounters, and, and also I enjoyed what I was doing, and I still enjoy it. I took a bit of a strange career path. My first degree is in applied economics, and I worked in investment banking for two years after college before chucking it all to go to grad school in volcanology. Um, and the short version of the story of how that happened is that basically I discovered geology and specifically volcanology fairly late in, in my college career, and I really wanted to, to finish out my degree and, and you know, give, give finance a shot before I made this change. Um, but after a few years working in banking, I um, kind of hit a, a fork in the road and um, decided that I was going to take this risk, and um, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. 